Please join us for our devotion to our Mother of per Perpetual Help. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will constantly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Health, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved His Church. We ask you to bless all parents May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. 
help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a heaven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Health. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, help us. That we may be faithful to the promises we made at baptism, loving Mother, help us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, help us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, help us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, help us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, help us. That we may realize the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, help us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, help us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, help us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, help us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, help us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, help us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother, help us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, help us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, help us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, help us. To pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, help us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, help us. That we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow men. Loving Mother, help us. 
that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, help us. To pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving Mother, help us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, help us in our, our needs. needs. Pray, pray for, for all the people, people of God. May, May all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God the Holy Spirit and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Holy Wednesday. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Oh. 
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Before we enter into this uh, Paschal, cel Paschal day, sorry, celebration of the Paschal mystery of uh, Holy Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, we uh, ask the Lord to help us and uh, accompany us in our last moments of preparation for this great feast. And so to celebrate worthily this Eucharist, we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, Grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pluck my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right, let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because seal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. 
Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You, you who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bands, he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from the time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The Master says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after the other, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It will be be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas said, his betrayer said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed evening to all of you who are here and also those who are joining us in worship through this live stream here at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. One of the most painful experience, human experience, is the experience of betrayal. And people who have experienced this know very well how how painful it is, especially when the one who betrays you is a significant person in your life, a spouse, a friend, close persons who betray you. And uh, 
this experience of uh, betrayal of Jesus in which we have heard in the uh, gospel today actually in the tradition of the church it is called the Wednesday of the betrayal we come face to face with the mystery shall we say of this experience why the Judas betray Jesus in the gospel we find snippets of reasons why like for example last Sunday that he was a a thief they would say or uh, he was uh, he was really wily in, in a way he was, was trying to 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 find ways to uh, and it seems that he was he was also shrewd no and so Jesus the potential of, of Jesus as capable person who could uh, face the dangers for example squarely and who could escape for example the uh, threat when they were about to throw him on a cliff he just escaped one theory one idea why jesus why judas betrayed jesus is because precisely this he saw in jesus a kind of a magician a powerful person who could escape so by betraying him oh no and uh, also getting the money anyway jesus can escape with his power only to find out that jesus did not do that he did not escape for example this time because he, the hour his hour has has arrived he would say and we would uh, find later on in the story that uh, Judas would hang himself out of desperation most probably uh, and could not forgive himself he was expecting Jesus a a powerful Jesus who could escape his enemies only to find out that that is not the will of God but to go through the passion that's why it is important that we come to know really who Jesus is it is our task to get to know him better in order not to betray him and uh, I'm sure no, that idea of Jesus as someone powerful who could escape, who could uh, uh, escape his, his enemies, no, for some time it worked well, but only to find out that that is not God's way and his time has arrived and he had to give himself as a ransom for all of us he miscalculated well he miscalculated jesus or he did not know very much the ways of the lord maybe he did not learn he did not understand what Jesus had proclaimed that he had to go through suffering and death in order to gain for us eternal life. So he tried to use Jesus 
in order to to get his own interest of gaining money but at the same time with that idea that anyway Jesus can escape as we come to the close of our Lenten preparation the invitation is to go back also to ourselves to our hearts what is my idea and my relationship with Jesus is this is Jesus is only the miracle worker the one who could confront his enemies his adversaries or Jesus as the one the meek Savior who gives himself for our sake. May our celebration of these days of the Holy Week enable us to appreciate even deeper who Jesus is for us. Jesus who suffered, died, and rose for our sake. And may we come to appreciate Him and what He has done for us and follow Him and not betray Him because a mistaken idea of who Jesus is may be like Judas. We may betray Him also if we have not known His ways and His plan for us. So it is our task to get to know him better, Jesus, so that we may not betray him in our decisions and the way we live. Amen. As we approach Good Friday with confidence in our loving God, let us recall the saving action of Jesus, his servant. For every prayer, let our response be, Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That those who suffer unjustly may receive God's comfort through a clean conscience we pray father bless us, us in, in the, the blood, blood of christ. christ that our own sufferings may strengthen our faith in the lord we pray father, father bless, bless us, us in, in the blood, blood of christ. christ that those among us who are putting off making their confession because of pride fear or laziness may come to the realization of the need for God's forgiveness. We pray. Father, Father bless, bless us, us in, the, in blood the blood of Christ. Christ. That the sick and all those who suffer may experience the healing presence of Christ. We pray. Father, Father bless, bless us, us in, in the blood, blood of Christ. Christ that those who have died may share in Christ's resurrection. We pray. Father, bless, bless us in, in the blood, blood of Christ. Christ. Let us pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Father, bless, bless us in the blood, blood of Christ. Christ. Lord God, you gave us the example of your Son to show us how to live and die. Grant us the faith we need to follow him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, oh let all who are thirsty, 
Come to me and drink. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the Lord. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink. All、oh, Come to me and drink. I will pour my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink. To me and drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that, celebrating Your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of His saving passion. And glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him, the host of angels adores Your Majesty, and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise. As we acclaim. That rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you. By the same Spirit, graciously make holy the gifts you have brought. We have brought for to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed and entered 
he willingly into his passion he himself took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May these sacrifices of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Saviors, at our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the peace of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thirst for 
Let us pray. And thou us, Almighty God, with a firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Let us continue our journey this Lenten season together by joining the Shrine's Holy Week activities. Tomorrow, Monday, Thursday, let us join the Lenten Recollection with Father Alji Cantilia SVD at 8.30 a.m. Let us be reconciled to God through the Sacrament of Confession from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m and break bread in the Mass of the Lord's Last Supper at 5 p.m. On Good Friday, let us walk alongside Jesus in the Stations of the Cross at 9 a.m. and contemplate on his seven last words at 12 noon. On Holy Saturday, let us wait for his resurrection from the dead and the Easter Vigil Mass at 8 p.m. There will be a blessing of bread, crucifix, and candle. Tomorrow, Monday, Thursday, you may bring bread to be blessed during the Mass of the Lord's Last Supper. On Good Friday, crucifix to be blessed during the veneration of the cross at 3.30 p.m. And on Holy Saturday, candles to be lighted and blessed during the Easter Vigil Mass. The altar of repose on your right invites us to spend quiet time with Jesus and remember that by his wounds we are healed. We may write and pin our peti petitions and thanksgiving on the wall of the altar and allow him to bring peace into our hearts. We continue to invite children 6 to 10 years old to volunteer as angels for our Easter Salubong on March 30. You may call Miss Cherry at 
or kindly register at the Shrine Office. For the complete schedule of our Holy Week activities, kindly check our Facebook page or the posters outside the Shrine. May all these activities bring us closer to Jesus, the Divine Word. Thank you and God bless. Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Please stand. We open the day, this triduum, with uh, a morning prayer of the church, sung morning prayer at 8 o'clock, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, your loved ones, your work and activities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Bye. 